some rares. That's freaking terrible. But we'll work hard to solve the format. Seven wins. And I'm sure we'll make it there. All right. What is up, my friends? And welcome to Bronze to Mythic. Streets of New Capenna Edition. Cheers, my friends. Cheers. We have a nice little drink here. We're in the... We're in the loungy, gangster mood, of course. Streets of New Capenna is the new Magic the Gathering set. And if you haven't seen it, it's all about crime families. Uh, five different families. We're all shards. We have a like Jund family, uh, a Grixis family. We'll learn their names, maestros and friends. And uh, we have a little drink. It's a Sunday evening. Cheers. A little Shivas and Coke. Shivas Regal. And I probably said that wrong. I'm going to make fun of me, but that's okay. And uh, we're ready to do some drafting, all right? I'm excited. Uh, bronze Tier 4. It's first time here at Bronze Minute. This is the show where I draft my account. From the very, very bottom, Bronze 4, to the very, very top, to Mythic. And uh, usually we uh, have a line. The line here is 21.5 drafts. You can make your choice right now. Maybe we're going to be on the over or the under. So for the entire series, how many drafts will it take to get to Mythic? And uh, for reference, we just hit the under in Kamigawa Neon Dynasty at 21 drafts. The line was 21.5, which is going to be again this time. Uh, we've had some bad ones. Uh, I had some good ones. I think Ikori was like 18 or 17 drafts. Uh, I think Crimson Vow took a while. But uh, so, Lions 21.5. Let me know if you're over or under. And we're going to jump right in here to our very first draft. This is my first draft in the format. I have not drafted yet. So, I'm about to do drafts for the very, very first time. I played Constructed. I did my set review. That's all on YouTube. You can go watch that. 10 new Bruce is up. The full set review is up. And uh, this is my first time actually playing with the cards in Limited. And I am uh, I'm excited, honestly. I love me a new limited format. I've heard good things so far. I've heard good things. We had overs. We got a lot of overs in chat. I don't like that, all right? I don't like that. We got to have faith. We got to have faith, all right? 21.5, over or under. How many drafts till Mythic? I'm feeling under this time. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I don't know. And, of course, our, it wouldn't be Bronze Mythic if the last person wasn't there, right? Wouldn't be Bronze Mythic. So let's open up our very first pack. And of course, as always, the overlay is here. This is the DraftSmith overlay from untapped.gg. If you'd like more information on that, please follow the link in chat or look in the YouTube description. Untapped is phenomenal. And Untapped is a draft helper. Uh, the top number is LSV's rating. The bottom number is a dynamic rating based on the cards you have. We'll peek at that. You know, obviously it's more for a little more for newer players to kind of get their feet wet and so on and so forth. So we're going to be looking at making our own choices here. And uh, let's take a look. We got Night Clubber, a blitzer here. They meant a 4 2 2. EDB, creature control, opponent's control, minus, minus, one, minus one. We've got Maestro's Ascendancy, which I don't think is particularly good in, in, uh, in Limited. Um, Maestro's Charm is pretty good, though. Five damage spell and a uh, possible uh, card draw spell. Um, I'm reading a lot of cards here. There's a Murder. Murder's obviously great. There's a lot of black cards. Contender, Scarab, Dual Land. Um, interesting. So, question we want. We want Night Clubber or Murder, I feel like, are our choices here. Don't want to take a three card early. Three card early. Um, I'm actually going to take the Clubber. I think murder might be better, but I always tend to skew my picks uh, towards uncommons or rares early on in the format because I think it's important to be able to play with those cards. You know, you, we'll play with murder. We know how good murder is, you know, but this card's new. Uh, it looks very powerful, honestly. Uh, of course, you're killing, killing, killing X1s. You can blitz it and draw a card, which is super cool. So we're going to do that. So probably going to want to be two colors splashing a third. And uh, we see... Pretty good card here in Darling of the Masses, but of course, this is a allied colored set, an enemy colored set, so Abzan, not really a thing. Uh, however, Exotic Pets is pretty cool, could be Esper, uh, but I'm getting the idea we're probably going to want to be two colors splashing a color. So, for example, if we are going to be Demir splashing white or vice versa, so you want a splashable card in that respect. And I think uh, Deal Gone Bad is pretty fine here. It's not like a great removal spell, but there's a lot of like, like graveyardy stuff going on in, uh, in, in Esper and Maestro as far as like putting it in the graveyard. One of the Demirish themes is having a five mana cost and stuff. It's pretty cool. So I think we're in a deal gone bad here. Also beat shield counters as well, which is pretty sweet. So uh, it's probably not the most powerful card in the pack, but we're going to keep we're going to stay open here and take deal gone bad. All right, we have passed two charms. So of course, because we've stayed open, uh, we're open for Jund. We're open for Esper. Open for Grixis. We have a lot of pads we can go right now by staying a little bit open here. Rufus charm is pretty good. Uh, it is pretty good. This deals. Uh, it kills the largest creature. Or you can exile your top three cards and play them, which is very, very good. Obscure Charm isn't great. Uh, it's just a bad, kind of like a bad removal spell or you can, eh, whatever. We got Demons Do. Run Out of Town is is okay. Uh, Rebel Ruiner, Big Score. Big Score is an interesting upgrade to the, uh, the ones legal already. 
Uh, I think we're going to remember to your charm here, and we're, we're going to we're going to take our take our shot at moving into a color here. Um, pretty good card. Pretty good card. Again, I'm reading all these cards for the first time, so we're going to be uh, mucking our way through here. Um, I'm going to take the charm. I'm going to take the charm. Nothing else seems super exciting. So, also, Ribbit Tears is the uh, is the Blitz color. So, uh, as far as Blitz goes, Blitz is an ability where you play the, you play the Blitz cost, it becomes a cantrip ball lightning. Comes into play, has haste, and attack. When it dies, you draw a card, and dies in a turn. So, uh, looking over... Alright, so we got Mage's Attendant, which is pretty good, honestly. Uh, we've got Luxurious Libation. Add a counter, Antagonize, Strong Arm, Social Climber, gains a few life. There's the, the Naya... Uh, mana fixing creature, one one for each tribe. Uh, I might just take out of color here. I mean, the strong arm. This card seems pretty good, actually. Uh, let's try this guy. I honestly have no idea what to take here. Uh, Libation seems okay. It's, oh, 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 Libation. I don't know. Card seems all right. It's pretty cool because the one one can trigger all of your alliance stuff. Alliance are cards that uh, basically have creature fall, which is kind of good. Uh, Riveteers is the treasury combination, and Capenna Express does seem pretty good in that, in that, um, not that we have many treasure cards yet, but we got a lot of black cards here. Uh, Maestro's Initiative seems awesome to me. Uh, this card seems great. Uh, really, really good. Uh, you can trade. Seems better if you're doing a little more con uh, conniving in Esper. Uh, but I think this card's very, very good. Uh, Contender. I'm taking this card. Uh, I call this card one of the better cards in the set. In my set review, as if it's my black bomb in common. Taking the uh, thing. Arc Splitter is uh, not very good, I don't think. Where'd it go? There it is. All right, so another initiate. It's also a uh, a Grixis Theater. Um, I'm going to use the old names for a little bit until we get used to all the new ones here. Uh, and once again, we're not necessarily even in Riveteers or Jund or anything else. We just, we just have black cards right now, so we can be a lot of different things, which is cool. Um, taking the Theater over the initiate is probably correct because we're it this card seems much better if we're esper and if we're conniving we can discard the card for extra value we're not necessarily doing that yet so i'm just gonna take the uh take the land here just gonna keep it safe keep it open haven't really i don't really feel like we found our lane yet so all right and uh we see two of the fixtures here so we'll talk about these for one second every family has a common fixer where you can pay two and exile it basically put it on a land make it a tri land and you can cast it later which is kind of cool so this is a bant one and an esper one this really helps us. There's also a Tainter's Tainted Indulgence. It's a pretty cool card. Uh, that is the Mirror, of course. Not necessarily where we're going to be at. Uh, Demons do. Revel Ruiner is a conniving menace creature. Uh, it doesn't seem super great. Social Climber. I'm taking the Indulgence. Just going to keep things. Also, Indulgence plus uh, Inish is pretty cool. Also, here's a Cabaretti Courtyard. This is the Naya, uh, Naya Shard. Doesn't really seem like it's going to be too far in our. Obviously, it can get a mountain or forest if you end up Jund. There's uh, the Express here with the treasure cards. Green doesn't seem super open. Uh, and again, this is my first draft, folks. We're kind of just like plowing our way through here. Uh, the Maestro sends the tables, which makes sense. The cards doesn't seem very good. Cement Shoe doesn't seem too too, uh, too great. We have one drop Cutthroat Contender here, which is all right. Um, a bad pump spell. A blue black duel, which is interesting. Should take the duel here. Should keep it open. These duels are very, very good too. Uh, you can sacrifice it to tap and draw and draw a card, which is awesome. So uh, we have a casualty card here. Dig up the body, which mills two and can return a creature card out of your hand. I also have a mayhem patrol. This is a cheap blitzer. This card seems pretty good. Uh, let's take the Blitzer. Maybe we're leaning Maestros. Here's Glamorous Outlaw. This is the Grixis Common Fixer. It's also a Rebel Ruiner and a Street Artist, which can copy things. Seems really weird. Uh, this is just a 4 5 that deals 2 and scries 2. Doesn't seem very good, honestly, but let's try this one out. Um, it's also cool because there's a lot of cross synergy. So you can, like, Play a, uh, a sacrifice -y card after you blitz a card, and so on and so forth. Uh, this seems, these all just seem bad, so I'm never playing these cards. All right, so the one drop table. So black does seem open. It seems like the one thing we've got so far is that black is open. Um, open up pack number two. 
We've got a widespread thieving hideaway card, three mana. If he has a multi card, make a treasure. That does not seem very good. Uh, so Grizzly Sigil is pretty cool. Not great. Another indulgence. We have a uh, Augur of Agonies here, which is a great card actually. It's an Esper three four. Whenever you draw, you drain for one, which is actually quite good, honestly. But the problem is, of course, we're not really the Esper. But we could be. All we really know right now is that we're black. And again, in, in multi-card sets, it's really important to, like, find your lane. You can kind of, like, waffle around a little bit, which is totally fine. Uh, just, like, make sure you find the right lane. And when you do, the colors will flow and they'll get really, really good. So, yeah, good common here for sure. But green didn't seem open at all. So, I think we're looking at uh, Indulgence, Sigil, um, or Queen. I'm going to try. Try Sigil. I don't really know, honestly. Yeah, we're just going to stay um, blue, black ish. Another deal gone bad. Also, important is that blue, black has this pseudo. Every family has a mechanic. There's also like kind of like a side mechanic. Uh, so, the side mechanic here in Demir is that five or more mana values in graveyards you get a bonus, which is pretty cool. There's also a body drop here. This card seems really, really good, though. Um, Seems really, really good. We don't even know if we're red, though. I'm going to think that Gilp deal gone bad here. What is the card? Uh, it's also a, a out of the way, which is a bounce card, which is okay. Uh, this card's insane, but we're obviously not, not those colors, so. Military Employment, Broker's Charm. Um, Buy Dropper's pretty good, but just to think deal gone bad. I'm just going to keep it safe here. And we're kind of like looking like maybe the mill thing's gonna be a, a thing for us. A little self mill action. Vampire Skipper Nerd, you gain life. That's not happening very often. Uh, Gallic Readers is really good. Uh, I've played this card a lot in Constructed and Tendu Bruce. Haven't played it limited, obviously. We also have a, uh, a Naya Courtyard and a Jund Courtyard, or whatever, Overlook. Uh, it's weird. Kind of a lack of black. Uh,. This card is really good. Um, huh. I'm going to take the rare. I don't really know. We're definitely waffling a bit here. Perhaps too much. We know we're black. Uh, those are two good Jun cards. Okay. Maybe Jund it is. The buy dropper too. Jund does seem fairly open. So we have a, the uh, Mr. Oreo here. Four mana for a 2-4. Whenever you attack, double creature's power. Or this uh, crew cast, which is really good. It's a 4-2 haste and charge one first attacks. I think that the uh, the Oreo is probably better. Um, yeah, we're going to Oreo here. Ripper's decoy must be blocked. It's all right. It's two for one. This card's kind of sweet. You just like blitz it, they block it, and you just like get your card. I don't know. This is a little finicky, though. I'm thinking the Oreo. Mr. Oreo. So, Tavern Swindler, a little life gain, a uh, little life gain sub theme, even Criminate. Kind of a weird card, kind of a weird card. Daring Escape, Goldhown, Most Wanted, um, Chrome Cat. Tender Sigil. Huh. This feels like a first draft. Feels like a first draft. We're definitely, uh, just feeling our way through here. Just feeling our way through. Um, I don't think this card's very good, but sure, I guess. Ooh, what's this card? Cleanup crew. This card's a house. Woo! Oh my god. Six six. It's just honey mammoth on steroids. It's a courier's briefcase. Prize fight. Yeah. Okay. It's also torch breath too. Wow. A lot, of, a lot of good cards here. Um, is Torch Breath better than Cleanup Crew? I don't think so. This card's a house. Uh, it's a little awkward, though, because, like, green... We can't really be... We just don't necessarily want to be base green black. But I'm sticking a good card here. Whatever. All right. I feel like we're... Uh, I feel like we're... Um, I feel like we're getting... Volgari. All right. Uh, official's pretty good. Just like a reasonable reasonable enabler. We have a couple sacrifice effects, which is fine. Um, also a fatal grudge. Is grudge better? I guess grudge might be better. It's pretty good with our our, uh, our blitzers, obviously. 
Kirk Custodian, Roastmaster, Rocks Pummeler. Kind of a cool six drop, but. I think we'll take Custodian here, though. Alright, uh, the Thieving Tables, of course. Warm Welcome. Top five cards of your library, may have a creature card among them, but yeah, make a 1-1. One, one. That's not bad. Obviously better if you have more Alliance stuff. Kind of an enabler for all your Alliance triggers you don't really have, but that's fun. This is a Scarab, too. Eh. Try Welcome. So I think we're pretty firmly Jun now. Buy Droppers here, too. Okay. Buy Droppers, pretty good. Uh, I think the Express and a Socialite. All right, so let's cut these blue cards. Uh, now we have a Rakish Rollers and a Jet Mars Fixer. This card is not super exciting at the moment, but I guess we're in. And then buy dropper again. All right, I think we, we found our lane. It took us a it took us a while, but I, I think we found our lane. And um, let's cut these non daring escape. <laughs> and we open the Jun Triumph. Someone's trying to tell us something. Uh, okay, so let's cut some of these, uh, this is a Cabaretti core, that's playable, and Maestro's, these are both just, like, bad duels, um, so, Jewel Thief is quite good, um, we already have a lot of playables, I'm pretty happy to take the dual land here, honestly, um, we have a few threes already, like, good fixing is good fixing, and this is the best possible fixing, just taking the land, um, Jewel Thief's good, for sure, but Voice of the Vermin, Shield Counter, whatever it's Axe, 4-4, four, four. okay. Yeah, single land. Single land. All right, we get uh, an Illicit Shipment. Uh, no thank you. Rogue's Gallery for each color. Return a creature card of that color from a graveyard to your hand. Kind of a cool card. Kind of a cool card. Also, there's a lot of, like, sacrifice-y, discard -y stuff going on for sure. Uh, there's an extor Exhibition Magician. Pretty good card. Good fodder maker, honestly. I kind of like this card. There's a fixer, broken wings, prize fight, strong arm. Uh, I think I like magician here. Rogue's gallery seems good, but like be pretty good late gamey stuff. I think. Um, could get three cards. It's not like exactly people over overvalue cards like that because they. Uh, ooh, a prison is really good. Uh, all right, mass bandits is feels like one of the better. Uh, one of the better fixer cards. Some mur as a murder too. Never mind. Let's take murder. Uh, murder, bandits, and briefcase. Yeah, yeah. I'll take the murder. All right. So we got murder. Another fatal grudge. Another body dropper. Yeah, we're definitely in the right spot now. I think. Um, fatal grudge once again is very good blitz. Um, so we got some blitzers. We have less blitzers than I would like. We, we, we have, like, some token makers and stuff, too, though, so. Uh, Mass Bandits. I think we're going to take Fatal Grudge again. Bandits seem good, but Fatal Grudge seems kind of sweet. All right, and uh, now we have an off, double off-color Triome. A Demon's Dew, Obscure Initiate, Extract the Truth, Jackhammer. This, all these cards seem pretty bad. Uh, gems. Try a tramway station, and another corrupt court official, which is pretty good. Again, we have the, we have these like by, I'm thinking of the official here. Now we're starting to get there. Now we're starting to get there. Um, I think it took us a while, but we're finally starting to figure out um, figure out a uh, theme. Guild this card's good. This card's good, right? This card's sweet. The old girder goons. It's a four mana or five mana four four, but you can blitz it for three. You get a two two. Draw a card. Maybe Sag or something like that. Seems sweet. Card right, seems great. Um, Mayhem Patrol seems great. Yeah, I think we're there, folks. I think we're there. We found a lane. Then we found a lane. Uh, I don't think we're... I don't think Goldhound's very good in our deck. Daring Escape. That fix... Yeah, these cards are all terrible. All right. Let's uh, cut some stuff here. Have the Fixer. How many treasures? We're going to cut... Um, Gone bad. We got some goons. Ship the lands over. Make it a little easier. We got uh dig up the body could be a thing. We definitely have a lot of a uh, a lot of fodder creatures and things to return. And I would say cutthroat contenders not for our deck. We're more of like a grindy deck, I think. 
The briefcase comes back. This card's pretty good. Uh, Sigil. These escapes are gone. I think Gold Hound is gone. I only have one one official. That sucks. Uh, Custodian enters tap. This card's just like not great. We have two patrols, a like greeters, two body droppers, two grudges, briefcase. Take the body, initiate, murder, clumber, mission, welcome, charm. Mr. Oreo here, Mr. Oreo. The goons, cleanup crew, and libation. Mass bandits tables also. Bingo. All right, ship it. And, uh, okay, we got to cut like probably two cards here. Probably two cards. Let's take a look here. Let's take a look. Uh, mana wise, our mana is pretty good. Again, folks, if you're sitting here, welcome, Amishim Davis. Bronze Smithic, the show where I draft my account, Bronze Smithic. That was, that was my very first draft in the format. My very first one. And I think we did all right, honestly. I think that all things considered, we did all right. Um, I'm going to cut the libation. I think. I don't know, that cut's pretty good. So it's, uh, so we're definitely Jundi. I was going to cut the custodian. We've got one, two, two, Three, four. We have five blitzers, which is a little less than I thought. We have a number of foddery creatures here in court official, token off this, uh, token off briefcase. Although briefcase isn't really great in our deck because honestly, it's a two drop, it's green, it's not our base color. Yeah, I'm gonna have the briefcase. And we're not we're not planning enough treasure to like actually crack it for draw for throw three cards. So I feel like we're just like kind of like touching green for Pretty good rare, you know, a couple of spells for the mid game, a charm, a boom boom, a boom boom, and then cleanup crew is just like really, really good. I think it's fine to like sort of double splash because we have like a lot of fixing. So we have, uh, let's give it a some fixing. Um, maybe this is a little ambitious, honestly. Maybe this is a little ambitious play. Uh, oh, I will try that. We'll try. Honestly, our red isn't particularly deep either. So this is 23 cards. I, I think we're happy here. I think we're happy here. Night Clubber, get some token makers. I think we're like a little light on like big ways to win the game, but I think we're grinding pretty good, honestly. And we have some, we get some boom booms. I guess another reason why I want to play this card for sure. So, um, we did pass out Threaten, that is true. Threaten is definitely kind of cool with, uh, with the things that we're doing in this deck. Um, but yeah, I think this is our deck. <laughs> Two Triomes, not too bad. So we're going to add uh, add the Triome, add the this is just a black red fixer and a red green fixer, which is not ideal since it's not tri lands. It's good enough, I think. Look at our lands over here. We're going to add ourselves. Uh, and figure out lands. Figure out mana bases is fun. Mana bases is fun, right? Um, we got it's a mountain forest. Greens are our lightest color for sure. Probably want like two forests and a bunch of swamps and mountains. I have six, six. Uh, this gets red, green. This gets black, red. This is one of our splash colors. I want a third forest, maybe. Right now we have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have five green sources. Um, this is red. Our mana base is a little iffy. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's a little iffy. I have a mountain for. I just need two forests, I guess. We have this thing too. Yeah, I think it's reasonable. So. There it is, folks. Our very first draft of New Capenna, Bronze Mythic, Episode 1. It's time to place your bets. Are you a believer or a non-believer? If it's not going to get seven wins, yes or no, we are in Bronze 4. It's our very, very first draft. Let's place our bets and get to the games. All right, let's go. We got a lot of believers. I thank that. I thank you all for that. You're all... You're far too kind. You're far too kind. What? I said, I said too kind. Make fun of me my television show. All right, so we got a, a theater, a buy dropper, official. This seems great. Let's get a great hand. Let's rock and roll here. Let's rock and roll. Get shot on the screen. Whoop! There we go. And let's play a Maestro's Theater. EDB sacks immediately. Gain a life. And get ourselves a mountain. And uh, let's get going here. We got buy dropper, night clubber, official. That's the winning record. I'm at seven wins. I'm sorry. Seven wins. I apologize. I I I, I shit. I screwed up. All right, I apologize. Uh, this was a holdover from the uh, 10 new brews. Uh, it should be seven wins. It should be seven wins. I apologize. I'll pay out for this draft based on winning record. That's what I put. I'll hold, I won't hold you to it. 
but uh, it's supposed to be seven wins. I apologize. I'll fix it for next time. My bad. All right. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect, but I will hold it to what it says as written. All right. The letter of the law. The letter of the law applies here. Um, Look at the size of that trunk. You could put three bodies in uh, I play this card in conjunction in my Cool Stuff video tomorrow. Um, all right, that card's pretty good. There are some common angels, too. We are going to play a land. Maybe seven percent creature, put a counter on by it. So we can just, like, kill this, I guess. We can just, like, official and then sigil it and not risk them, like, getting value off of it. I'm cool with that, honestly. I'm cool with that. So once again, maybe it's like creature, period. Doesn't need to be two this thing. Play this. What's up, Romano? Non-believer for a winning record? If you're a non-believer for a winning record, Get off my come on. Plane. We're bronze four, for God's sakes. Our deck is not bad. All right? Our deck's fine. It's not, like, the best deck of all time. It's our very first draft, but I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. They discard a scheming fence. We painted our fences today. And we're going to target this. Sacrifice this thing. A little extra value. It's a sure shot. Sure to make your body drop. And we gain four life total. We attack for three. Not a bad turn three. Not a bad turn three. All right. We're going to make a, another token here. Ooh, that card's good. Or you always thought it was good. Uh, we're going to nightclub. Do we blitz it or do we, uh, do we just cast it? This is an interesting one. So blitz again is a new ability. Blitz is an ability where you pay an additional cost, or pay an alternate cost. Comes in with haste, you attack with it, and then it attacks, it dies, and if it dies, it's turn you draw a card. So, either way, it's two for one. Uh, but if I play it, it's a two-two. If I blitz it, I get to draw a card instead. It will grow the buy dropper though, which is good also. I guess I'll blitz it, let's see how it goes. Blitz it. Come Dasher, come Dancer. And so also it grows a buy dropper, which is cool. It's a sacrifice effect. If I had waited a turn, I could have maybe uh, paid for the... Which doesn't actually matter. It's menace. Never mind. Warm welcome. So now I'm going to make a treasure here. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, oh, never mind. Yes, citizen. Uh, so Witness of Protection here is a pretty cool card. However, uh, it changes the base stats to plus one, plus one. So now we now have a... Uh, we now have a 3-3 because of the counters as well. So, Libation, sure. We're going to play land here. This is also playing a Cement Shoes. We're going to play this. Make Treasure. A very legitimate business person. Very legitimate. Look how legit. Look how legit. No, nothing, nothing illegitimate about this card right here. Not a single thing. Not a single thing. All right. We have an Elegant Entourage. A 4-4 Alliance creature. Uh, ETBs. Creature other than this gets plus almost untrampled. Pretty good, pretty good card. All right, so we're going to untap here. And we're going to utilize our uh, our luxurious libation. Uh, I don't think it's trample. So we attack, we attack a bolt. They block. I want to give plus four, plus four. I can do that without playing this land. I guess they're banned. So, like, what could they even have? But sure. Let's jam. Let's jam. Yeah, so we're going to go here. And uh, I don't know of any white tricks, but we're not using anything else anyway. We gotta use our green thing. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna pump it all the way. Or a lot of the way. Let's do five, whatever, sure. Pump this thing. Boom, it's big. Kill your thing, deal two, you're at eight. And uh, no green for this thing. We just blew our blew our, uh, our treasure there. I think it's okay. Okay. Falco Spara Pact Weaver. Mythic Rare. This is the uh, this is the Lord or the uh, the leader of the the obscure uh, the brokers crime family. Uh, Do a barrel roll. Uh, so flying trample has a shield counter. New thing here. Shield counter. What's shield counter? If it would be dealt damage or destroyed, remove a shield counter instead. So if I attack here and this would try and trade, it would not trade, uh, which is pretty bad for us actually. But I can give uh, this thing has no abilities either. Yeah, I mean we can just jam. I think trading a legit business person for this card is reasonable. And they could also remove counters to play cards from the top of their library, which is pretty good too. So we're going to attack. I might attack with everything, actually. So the, it's not for... Um, 
It's not for if it would die. It's only taking damage. If I attack with everything here and they block the 2 1, it'll still break the shield either way. So. Alright, so. Shield is broken. They're down to 5. We've got Buy Dropper here. It can get some menace. It can grow. Got some fodder creatures here. We're doing pretty good. They've played some pretty good cards so far. A Glittermonger. This is a 1 4 taps for a treasure. Twice! New sub. What's your name? Where are you from? How's it going? Welcome. Let me draw a courtyard. All right, cool. This is our green source. Um, now, am I interested in just like attacking the body, the body dropper and giving it menace too? I guess there's no point in giving it menace, honestly. We just attack anyway. We have warm welcome, which is pretty good. Yeah, I guess I'll give it menace, sure. So we'll sack a thing. Give it menace. First time chatters, Trey from North Carolina. What's up, my friend? Welcome. Everyone say hi to Trey, all right? Let's give Trey a hand. First time chatter, let's go. Let's go. Double block. We'll trade with the flyer. This is fine. And then we'll play courtyard and get a green. The designing is a very, very arena friendly for sure. No evolving wild, having to wait till end of turn. Sky Crier. Uh, interesting card. 2 mana 4, 2 1, one, one light playing flyer. And then uh, you and target opponent each draw a card. They put the thingy on it, and now it taps. So, sure. We draw a patrol, which is uh, okay. We're just going to cast this welcome right now. Just try and see what we can draw. Um, look at top 5. Reveal a creature card among them. Ooh, that was close. You almost missed. Get this, and we get a, uh, and we get a token as well. We blitz this. We can go wide enough where they have to block. Let's just blitz it for damage, right? Very interesting. So is two mana worth two damage of drawing a card? Maybe? Uh, maybe? This thing is tapped. I think so. Um, I don't know, honestly. Let's just do it. I'm just citizen. Just do what I mean. Vigilance. Lethal if I attack with all last turn? How am I supposed to know that? <laughs> Put it here. Take two. Dies. Draw a card. Make a treasure. Sure. They're down to three. That thing's pretty big, too. We're going to play this. I'm going to put it on a land. Might as well have it not in my hand. Um, they don't know any discard, I guess, but sure. That thing dies. Draw a card. Ooh, there we go. Mr. Oreo. Mr. Oreo's here. They had two blockers. Could dress Menace. What? Oh, sure. I mean, they would just block the, the two one then, right? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. This is instant speed? Oh, shit. I didn't know that. Okay. They play, uh, oh my god. Look at the size of that trunk. You can put three bodies in it. That's that's a big one. They get the body, Mr. Oreo. All right, so Vigilance, Menace. This is pretty good, Mr. Oreo and this thing. Uh, we just jam this. And... Why is it tapping on my lens? Huh. Play this, just say go. You have to get the body here, too. This card seems good. There's a lot of fodder. So we'll just say go. Next turn, we'll just Oreo the, uh, the bandits. It'll be a, a 10 hour Menace creature. That must be blocked. This cement shoes is looking pretty bad. Uh, pretty bad. Not looking the. Uh, it helps. I got push. Not looking so good here. And cheers, everyone. I hope everyone's having a good Sunday evening with their new competitive drafts. This card does not seem good. Uh, just saying. Just saying. All right, Mr. Oreo, come on down. Come on down, Mr. Oreo. Whenever you attack, double dark creature's power. Cement shoes. You gotta, like, move this thing around. Like, you have to, like, move it. Um, move it move it, and attack with it. I don't know what they're doing, but... And we're going to... Uh, yeah, it seems really, really bad. <laughs> like, really, really bad. Put this here. Attack. I guess it says menace, so we're just, like, dead either way. Yeah, I mean, they could have something here. I'm just attack with everything. Attack, plus this thing. 
I said, I mean, he's plus deception. I want to say this thing. So they have a, a kill shot. All right, so we get a little wreck there. Luckily, we have this card, though. So now you get a little blown out, a little blown out. So card will learn to play around pretty well as the format goes on. Uh, they get to block both. We'll sacrifice one of them. We'll return the boom boom and something else that's good. I'm not sure what yet. So do this. Casualty, which means we sacrifice a creature and we can copy it. Copy this. We're going to mill four cards total. Yeah, the, the cards like this are usually very easy to play around. And not necessarily here when they only have one card in hand. It's like late in the game. But um, a card we can have been aware of for sure. We're going to dig up the body. We're going to mill two. Return the bandits. And then dig up the body. Mill two. And return... Um, I mean, Mayhem Patrol is actually not bad. We can pump it. This doubles the power. It's not good enough, though. Probably just Body Dropper. Just Dropper. Drop like it's hot. And then, uh, so they eat our creature. We play... Oh, Mayhem works, too. That would, but that's not bad. It's not bad. And then we will say go. So double mayhem is two, two, two menace. I can double one of them. And then I type this thing also. We'll see. So I'm in pretty good shape. Bolt draw card, sure. So it's an untap. They play a land. I guess if I like thought they were going to do that, I should put land maybe. Move that over to here. It's a four, seven. We're to help the 26, so now they attack. Uh, we do not block. We take four. And then, like, if they wait a turn, they can untap this and put it on it and attack with it. They've learned to move the shoes. Ooh, girder goons. Uh, that is lethal. In theory. In theory. Uh, we're going to play a land. We're going to play Blitz this bad boy. This card does seem very good. Uh, card does seem very good. Blitz it. We're going to play the uh, the dropper in case things go wrong. And we're going to do combat. And slam jam. Double the power of Mr. Oreo. What do you got? Pop quiz, hot shot. You got anything? Each player draws a card. Okay. I think we're dead. I think we're dead. I think they're dead, I mean. There we go. Okay. That's it. That's the whole series. Everyone go home. Show's over. That's it. Nothing more to see here. We did it. Love it. Love it. Ooh, look at this. Look at this, look at this mana base. Woo. Woo. Keep this one. Keep this one. I have a, a little uh, Chivas Royale and Coke here. A little, uh, little cheers to my fellow gangsters out there drafting uh, some Streets of New Capenna. Point of Legendary Angel, no Angels. I mean, the thing is that, like, the Legendary Angel is just good. It's just a 2-2 flyer for 2 at Vigilance. That's, like, totally reasonable and limited. It's actually very good and limited. Can I play any Grixis Shadow sometime? Um, I actually hate Shadow decks. I, I, I mean, if I was playing Modern, I would play it, obviously, but we'll see how much Modern do. Oh, my God. Night Clubber is looking so good so far. Um, We're going to play... I'm just going to play our, uh, our theater here and get ourselves a Swamp. Sure. Swamp. Do you like the art in the set? Yeah, it's sweet. I like. I just like the, uh, the 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 new things. You know, like the very very kind of novel concept for a world. Super sweet new stuff. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I got my fine viewers too. Y'all great. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. A little Sunday evening. Did a lot of yard work today. And now I'm sore and tired and ready to draft. Clubbers of mythic uncommon. Yeah, I, I'm still unsure about casting it or blitzing it. Um, because, like, drawing the card feels good and all, but you can just have a 2-2 in play, you know? All right, so we have Snooping Newsy. As I was saying, the Demir, like, sub-theme is trying to get five or more values, mana values in your graveyard, and now they've got two. Two of five. Uh, Dad Ball's tomorrow. Yeah, I actually played very well at Dad Ball last time. I, I made, like, I was, I was, like, two points a game. Okay. I kind of like Magician here making a treasure to build up to our, our crew. 
And then next turn we can we can blitz this and sack it to Fatal Grudge. I'm sorry, that would require using the treasure. Um, so we'll see if we want to do better or not yet. I would say we're going to make a treasure, though. Play this. Make treasure. And then goal is to set up for Clubber, Blitz, Sack to Fatal Grudge. That is currently our goal. A um, lot of value. A lot of value. This card's good. Like the new uh, the new thingy here too. I can't. It's a little two out of five thing. It's kind of nice. Uh, no blocks. Please play another X one. That'd be cool. I'd appreciate that. Mountain. What's up, East? Never had an invite to the Discord. You gotta you gotta invite yourself. You gotta link your Twitch and your Discord. You're good to go. Or YouTube and Discord. The hearse. Uh, the hearse. I'm fly. I'm pilot. Uh, so two mana vehicle. Tap to exile two cards from a graveyard. And yeah, this card's really good. Power and dumbness. Now it's funny, we could actually use the grudge to sacrifice the treasure right now and just kill this. Uh, that would obviously, you know, forego our uh, our plan of using the night clubber and getting value that way. Also means a little harder to cast cleanup crew. And cleanup crew can just kill this later. So, I think we're going to keep to the plan here. I think I might just uh, attack for two and deal gone bad. And then next turn, we'll clubber Fatal Grudge. There's no way they block here. I'll probably just deal gone bad the Snoopy Newsy. Alright, so... And I want to keep my, my treasure around also. So, I want to cast this bad boy. Which you could also just cast next turn, too. So... Glamorous Outlaws. End step, they're going to exile the Outlaw... Put it onto the mountain. Now taps for any color, which is pretty cool, or any, any Grixis color. Kind of cool. This is a 4 5, 4 6, EDB, deal 2, scry 2. Okay. Fair. Fair, fair, fair. Fair, fair, fair. Wait, he's on my card. So now this has uh, one card under it. That's going to get really ugly if I can stack all the cards up. So, also, we get to a spot, maybe, where we can, like, deal gone bad this, and maybe get the Edict off on the uh, thing. Let's have the Charm, too, though, so. All right, here they come. Uh, no blocks. We're gonna deal gone bad here. Just gotta kill this bad boy. And uh, we're gonna mill three, ourselves. We don't really have much graveyard stuff, but don't wanna mill them, obviously. So, Sigil, land, land, sure. Kill that bad boy, take two, no problem. No problem. Rorks! Rorks Blaming just followed. Rorks Blaming is freaking awesome. And yeah, the follow button, the follow button on YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You're all freaking great. My name is Jim. First time here, welcome. I do full time content as I have for the last six years. A lot of content. Red Pro Magic player for over 15 years. And uh, you're all awesome. Thanks for, thanks for happy, tuning in this Sunday evening with me. Alright, so they fill up the hearse, which is totally fine. We're going to kill it next time with this thing. And uh, what else you got for me? Anything cool? Not quite Titan of Industry, but still a good card. Still a good card. Crooked Custodian. It's a 3 2. Sure. So we're going to jam this, 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 this big fatty boom baddie. And uh, jam this boy. And we're going to disenchant the uh, the hearse. Destroy target artifacts. You. Get off my plane. Awesome. Attack for two. Awesome. And now we got a, a big fatty in play. Oh my god. Becky. Big fatty. Big fatty. Reptune, I'm not sure. I haven't played it since the, uh, the ban. Clean up crew. Six six worth of humans with shovels. That's uh, it's pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive. All right, fatal grudge, lined up. Here they come. Uh, we are blocking for sure. So, what do you got? Show what you got, my friend. I got card advantage in my hand. I don't mind blocking here at all. They have a sigil, they have a light him up. Alright, so that's like kind of annoying, but it's still it's still a two for one. We should get three for one, honestly. So we actually got since we got a four for one out of our cleanup crew. So we didn't get to use our night clubber, but whatever. And now we have this uh, charm up as well. We're attacking. Uh feeling pretty good here. Gonna play this land. We're gonna say go. We're gonna go for the end step charm to draw three cards. 
and I want to make sure we use it. We use it, we're able to use all the cards. So the, the third ability or second ability here is exile top three cards. Ooh, what is this? That's a boom boom. Uh, and then I can play those cards until my, my next end step. Uh, I want to play all of them if possible, but I only have one turn to do it. So end stepping this card is a good time to do it. Uh, so let's play this thing. Sure. And then uh, we're going to cast this and draw. Could kill this thing, but we have other ways to do that. So draw three. We hit Dropper, Goons, Forest. That's pretty good. We play the Forest. Um, we can't Girder Goons. And um, yeah, we're just going to cast the Goons and then cast the Dropper and just say go. So three for one here. We're just rolling in, uh, in card advantage at the moment. So we're way, way, way up on cards. Just going to say go. Nurse, Reese up. Thanks so much. Uh, not really. N nothing crazier than usual. Those don't know, my wife Nicole is pregnant, and uh, 16 months, 17 months. It's getting big, it's getting big. Broker's veteran, that's really good for us. So I guess we got to do the uh, the old Fatal Grudge anyway. So we're gonna play a land here. Uh, let's get their last card. 17 months, who knows, I don't know, whatever. She's about, uh, about this big, you know? Discarding, ooh. Lord Xander the Collector, uh, the kingpin of the Grixis clan. Then we're going to play Night Club or Blitzed. And then we're going to minus and minus one. And then we're going to each opponent sacrifice permanent. So put a shield here. Shield does not stop sacrifices. And we'll sack the uh, the club. We could sack the wall one, but let's sack the clubber. Sack the clubber. And my, this card seems really, really good. Sacrifice this thing, in for a whole bunch, draw it, this is ridiculous, we're just drawing cards with a fistful here, and uh, draw a card there, yada yada yada, we do our thing, you're at five, they play their outlaw, we're firing all cylinders here, and they are dead, they are dead. I'm gonna make them an offer again with you. Here's your offer, one, four, ah, but I didn't finish! I wasn't done yet. All right. Oh, oh, you know what that means. All right, here we go. 2 and 0 so far in our first draft. Get you to me here on 2. Good chance for y'all. All right. I want to hear your soundboard ideas for this set, all right? I always have try to make some unique sounds for each uh, set. I want to hear all your gangster theme soundboard ideas. Put them in the YouTube comments and in chat right now. Uh, keep this. Keep this. Ow. Yeah, I got a blister today from doing yard work. I know, right? Oh. I know, I know. Mr. Oreo. All right, let's go. Look how they massacre my boy. All right, Jet Mers Fixer. Sure. We're going to play our own. And again, I think that uh, each color has one, like, really good, like, I don't want to say mythic common, but, like, one really good common. And we both played ours here. They're going to play Cabaretti Ascendancy. Uh, Cabaretti Rare. Being for upkeep, look at the top card of your library. If it's a creature or planeswalker, reveal it, put it in your hand. If you don't, you may put it on the bottom. So this is going to be pretty good for them. This is going to draw them a card like every other turn. And as far as attacks go here, uh, this is fine. No blocks. All right, we draw a patrol. We can use the patrol and kill the fixer. Um, That's actually pretty good. So we like play this, blitz this, attack. Whatever, put this here. We deal a bunch. We kill this, and we get to uh, draw a card off this, and then this thing is bigger. And then next, we get to we get to Oreo it, attack even more. So I like this. Yeah, Blitz plus Casualty is really, really good. And it's really cool seeing like the cross synergy between the uh, the different houses or families or whatever. So deal one, draw a card, deal three. Sweet, Disco. Disco Stew, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome. All right, they drew a card off their uh, cabaret thing. So I think that right now we need to kill them. Um, they're going to draw out draws this game for sure. That puts the pressure on us to try and end the game. This is a classic scenario of who's the beatdown. For those players who might be a little newer and not familiar with the seminal piece of magic literature, who's the beatdown? Oh, don't bolt my thing. All right, thank God. Who's the beatdown is a famous article uh, by Cool Stuff writer Mike Flores, Mike Flores uh, about 
kind of finding your role in the game, kind of figuring out like, should I be like being aggressive here or should I be defensive? And it's kind of about inevitability. It's kind of about like, what's the, the end of this game going to look like, right? So that as this game goes on, they're gonna draw many, many more cards than us because we can't really remove this, right? So knowing that, the impetus is on us to be the beat down here and kind of end the game more quickly because we know if the game goes long, it's not gonna be good for us. Whereas they know if the game goes long, they're gonna out card us probably. Daring escape. Uh, that's not how that's gonna work. It's got. I was, I was in that menace. Oh my god, I thought it was naturally a menace. All right, they got us. This is this is brutal. Brutal blocks here. Oh my god. All right, sure. I did not play around that one. I guess not that I would have honestly. This is why I love all meta tricks. Uh, but and now we're in big trouble because now our, our the the core of our clock is gone. Uh, and now they can kind of keep grinding out the cards here. So. Social Climber, sure. This game's life, too. Yeah, this is going to be a tough game. See what we can do. See what we can do. We can uh, double power here. This is a pretty powerful start for them. I do love one mana tricks. I say this very often in Limited. Um, one mana tricks are really, really hard to play around. Um, I don't think we can ever not attack there. Like, ever. So, um, we're going to Magician and probably just grudge the token away. And I mean, we're going to attack first anyway, so... I guess we'll do it now. I play on a second copy of this. So we'll do this. We're going to grudge the token. Uh, make a citizen. Yes, citizen. Oh, that have a soundboard. From, it's from Diablo 2, I think, right? Yes, citizen. Sack this. I guess card's good. I think that, like, the bar for any one mana trick is just so high. Uh, or so low, I mean. Because, like, they're just so easy to leave up, leave up and so hard to play around. They're going to sack the Flyer and not the uh, Social Climber. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? I think that, like, part of the situation here, like we were saying, us being the beatdown, di dictates that we, we, can't, we can never not attack here. But I have a kind of a bad feeling about it. I have kind of a bad feeling about it. I don't want to look. I'm not going to look. I could have look. Oh, it was good. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. You can never not attack there, but... You know, it still feels bad if they have it. Still feels bad if they have it. So, we got some beats going. We got a Meister's Initiate. Ooh, what's this card? All right, we have a uh, a Ballroom Brawlers. Whenever it attacks this and up to one other creature you control, both gain First Strike or Life Link. Holy crap, this card is good. Uh, this card's insane. All right. We are going to uh, to buff up the Magician and attack and try and buy a block with the Brawlers. It probably won't work, but if it does, we can hard cast this and then cast this also. So we're going to start there. This is a little, this looks pretty sketchy, but the trap has been set. The trap has been set. All right, no block. So... Not a bad result either, honestly. We just get to, like, you know, get it for four. Now we need to make sure we have good blockers for these things coming in. We're going to play a land. I actually just freaking love this card. This card's awesome. Awesome. And then as far as just casting this, I don't really want to do that. Where should I say go? This card's really good. Uh, this card's really good. I don't know why uh, these people dancing, these very normal-looking humans dancing, have a... Uh, have, uh, Five toughness, but oh my God, Becky. Elegant Entourage is a four-four over four uh, alliance. Plus, plus one in trample. Shit. I think we're in trouble here. They have a lot of good cards. They've only drawn two off this so far, so and they're gonna attack. Wow, this is interesting. Uh, they could get first strike, I suppose. Let's see. Let's see. They're going to get... Both they get first strikes. We could block the 2-4 here. This is their 3-4. This is a little weird. I'm going to offer a block, I think. I don't know what white one mana trick gets me here, because I don't have a set that well, but we're going to block. What do you got? All right. Nothing. Nothing. Just just bronze plays. Just got to make the blocks. Just got to make them have it, you know? All right. So we're going to now... If they have shield counter, like... Whatever. You know, like, it doesn't kill my creature, so. Um, Night Clubber. Doesn't really do it. We can, like... I think we're going to pump the power on Magician. 
attack like this, and now they block here. I get to I get to clubber. So attack like this, laying on a trap. Got him this time. Obviously, we don't mind if this thing dies anyway. So let that go. Just hard. I'm just hard cast clubber. And then we are we play land yet? We did, we did. We did. So we can't flash this thing back just yet. But this card's awesome. This card's really good. I love this card. I call this card my, my the bomb and common. God, another one of these things? Jeez. Stop drawing cards. Uh, my bomb and common and my set review. If you missed the set review, definitely hop on over to my YouTube and check that out uh, while you're at it. Follow me on everything. Again, I do find it full time. Follow me on YouTube. Follow me on, in, uh, on Twitter. I have an Instagram and TikTok now because I'm, I'm very hip and with it. Uh, and uh, I appreciate y'all. Y'all are great. All right, so they get to Entourage. This has to attack with something, right? Why can't I mouse over this? Oh, this and up to one other target creature. Jeez, this card's so good. It's a 3-5 lifelink. Even by itself, a 3-5 lifelink is just good. All right, so they have a 3-5. Yeah, I just, I just can't do anything about it, sure. 13 to 7. Draw another land. All right, so we're going to just pop this to start immediately, I think. How do you do, fellow kids? TikTok is poo-poo. If you don't like it, you don't like it. You don't gotta be on it. No one's forcing you. Just saying, you know. If you wanna support me on a different platform, you're more than welcome to. Deal gone bad. All right, cleanup crew is obviously great. Um, discard this. I mean, we're just gonna send in one of these things as a four power attacker. Um, and it's probably going to be the magician. And we've got the deal gone bad for next turn. If we have cleanup crew, we can kill this thing also, which is kind of nice, so. Just send this bad boy in. So far, I'm impressed with Mr. Oreo here. Take four. And then, uh... Six and three. Yeah, I should play this. Cabaret Ascendancy, please stop drawing cards. They've drawn three cards so far. Three's a lot. Like, this thing draws one, it's not great. If it draws two, it's good. Three is great. They just drew four, and it's a Vivian, uh... A Vivian here. So, okay, sure. What? Wrong button. Uh, yes, this card seems unbeatable. Uh, sack creature, birthing pod, plus the mill five, but a creature, honestly, you can just minus make a four for every turn. You probably never lose. So, their deck does seem particularly good. Uh, their deck does seem particularly good. Uh, I don't think we could ever beat this card in a million years. Like, just a, an army of 4-4s. Four uh, this must be blocked, and these two have lifelink. I mean, sure. Alright. Yeah. We've got a, we've got a land. Um, and we can take our shot at, uh, at Vivian here. Play cleanup crew and disenchant this. We're gonna keep playing. We ain't done yet. I ain't done yet. Um, limited? Is this a draft? Yeah, we're playing draft right now. I know they got a lot of rares in play, but um, we're going to attack here and double it. Let's choose. All right, so this will inside a block, most likely, which is pretty good. That's a pretty good trade for us. Oh, I, I gotta kill this. I'm, I'm so stupid. I'm, I'm, I'm just talking too much. I gotta kill the thing and then kill the Vivian. Uh, but. I think I want to cast the cleanup crew also. Oh, I couldn't kill. I'm sorry. It's, it's a, sure. We're good. We're good. Don't worry about it. It's late, folks. All right. We're going to clean up crew. Disenchant this thing. And we're going to uh, kill this. I'd love to gain five. Gain four here. But kill the enchantment. The problem is like the damage might already be done. They've just run so many cards off it already. But if they can't deal with the 6-6 six, six right this second, maybe we can grind our way back in here. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Part of the 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 theme of a multicolored set is you will get rares late because how many decks can actually cast this card, you know? So you'll often find if you're in the right colors, you'll be getting a lot of good rares and good uncommons late because they are not playable with other players. So says like soloist. That's trombone and a saxophone, but whatever. All right, come on, cut me a break here. Cut me a break. All right, so, oh my god, all right. Uh, okay. What's this thing do? Are you trying to block this turn? Oh my god. 
Ah, oh, we're freaking dead. And this thing's a 6-8? Alright, I think we're dead, folks. I think this is a little too much. I think this is a little too much. Five? Alright, you got me. You got me. Alright, I give up. I give up. Uh, so you get nothing. Yeah. You lose. Okay. Good day, sir. I get it. I understand. Uh, that's a lot of rares. All right, let's go, Power Fill. Remember, both the ladder did just reset, too, so... This is pretty great. Keep this. We got our Gallic Readers here. Really good card. Really good card. Gallic Readers. All right. Gallic Readers it is. So, this card has Alliance. Once again, Alliance is like... It's basically Creature Fall. Kind of like Landfall, but for creatures. Oh, no. Okay, I'm okay. Just kidding, just kidding, sorry. Um, so creature fall. Center of our creature ETB is trigger us. This one, you can choose one that hasn't been chosen this turn. Put a counter on it, make a treasure, or gain two life. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna run the attacks here. I don't got nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. Ah, you refused it! Come on! Why would you refuse my offer? All right, we're gonna put a counter on this. So we could, uh, we could like make a block. I guess we could make a block off this treasure. Yeah, we'll just say go. Actually, this is fine. Just say go. Just gonna say go. So um, we're going to uh, end that welcome. Make a treasure to a block currently. So they're gonna play River Tears of Questioner Blitzed. When it dies, make a treasure. Sure, it's fine. It's fine. So in for five, but they lose their thing, obviously, which is fine. Eh, sure, this thing just happens. Happens. Sack this. Play a warm welcome. And we're gonna get ourselves a. Uh, we have murder knight clubber. Body dropper. It's probably just X. It's probably just this thing. Just two two triggers on the uh, the greeters. And now we're gonna make it bigger because you want to uh, make treasures later. So GCPS eighteen is your call. I love that. I appreciate the support. You're all great. Thanks for resub. Uh, we're gonna go land. We're gonna go magician. And we're gonna go. We're gonna make a counter. We're gonna make uh, a token, and then we're gonna make uh, a token treasure, and we're gonna jam. You know, Blitz is good, but you do lose your attacker for the turn. So I spent three minutes of that turn and didn't put anything on the board. Uh, it was like cantrip lightning bolt, basically. Which is like fine. But now we're reasonably why. Please, God, don't night clubber me. That would suck. They're going to attack with this thing. It's got menace, and it's a two power creature. No blocks. No blocks. A little awkward here. We have no black, of course. Fake your own death. Uh, plus two, plus oh. When it dies, return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control, and you create a treasure token. And they're going to light him up and shoot this twice. Okay. I mean, that's like fine. It's just a two for one, right? I don't mind that that much. They have treasure and treasure. We draw another forest. All right. Um, not ideal. Not ideal. I think we just jam here and uh, hold on to his night clubber. Not really going to play it just to, like, attack for two, so just, you know, three mana draw, deal two draw card is not good enough here. Also, uses my only treasure, too, so we're beating down right now. We're currently winning the race, so, you know, let's keep doing our thing. Just keep doing our thing. It's a good evening, you know? Drink. A thousand of my closest friends. First draft in a new format. And a glamorous outlaw. Four, five, deal two, scry two. Uh, let's draw a swamp. Let's draw a swamp. Top, bottom, all right. Fatal grudge. Uh, this will make them sacrifice the patrol. It's not really that great for us. Um, so we need a way to make this thing die uh, and then grudge them. This is bad. This is bad. Okay. It's got Menace Naturally, Pumps. They have a lot of cards in their hand. Um, Just gonna say go. 
definitely not a uh, not a ideal ideal uh, opening for us. What's up, Dip? How's it going, my friends? If you're sitting here, welcome. Bronze Mythic Episode One. Good time to tune in. Anything you miss, folks, will always be on YouTube when it comes to Bronze Mythic. The whole series is always on YouTube. One episode every other day until we're done. Check that out, of course. And again, uh, the line for Mythic this time, as always, is 21.5. So let me know what you think. Light him up. They're going to sack the thingy. Oh, my God. Sack the Glamour Thief. It gets, it gets sorcery back. It's got haste and makes mana. They're going to kill all my shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thoughts on Kanaif? I have not even used it yet. Get back, fake your own death. And we're dead. All right. Tough games here. Mana screw game? At least he got me. Right. Uh, don't think we're drawing to anything here. Probably not a... Uh, I mean, it is castable, I guess. Not an uncastable card, but... We're at five? Yeah, I'm just gonna keep playing, I guess. Cast is bad, boys. Say go. And, uh... Just moving along here. Moving along. Glamorous Outlaw again, and we're at five. That does kill us. That does kill us. So it doesn't hurt two. All right. Yeah, I mean, not a very fun game, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So we take me, take two. And then take two more. So we're not technically dead yet, but they could have killed us. They could have fake. I mean, they do this and this. They just cast this thing too, though. I think we're dead. I think we're dead. Gold Hound. They're not going to play their, uh, their monstrous creature. I misclicked. Now it works anyway. All right. I mean, kind of tough games there. Uh, a lot of rares and uh, no mana this game. That's okay. That's all right. Keep it going. All right. Round five. We're two and two now. Two and two. Oh, my God. Oh, we have big bandits. Never mind. We got the old mass bandits here. The sticky bandits. We keep this. The old sticky bandits. Uh, <laughs> All right. All right. So I like to just draw a swamp. Just play my cards on curve, but what's up, Lord? All right. They went forest, forest. So their mana is as bad as ours is, thankfully. Uh, no black to speak of. We have, the, we have the old bandits here, though. So this, of course, will exile from our hand. We make things three colors. In for one. And he gets doubles. Okay, that's the, this is how this game's gonna go. I think we're feeling fine about this one. So, take our forest to dry land. Draw a mountain. And yeah, we're gonna play a uh, fatal grudge here, too. Let me just play the buy dropper to get things going. Draw a black source next turn. We can go grudge plus court official. Which is sweet. Which is sweet. People are saying it's a, it's a bomby format. What do y'all think? What do y'all think of theirs? Is a bomby format? It's my first draft? I don't know. What do I know? Mountains. They are, they are a Naya deck. In for one. No blocks. No blocks. 16. Once again. No block. We drew a Charm. All right. Well, we can cast that. Um, question is, do we want to cast that, honestly? Um... Attack for two. Have a kill shot. Yeah. I guess we're just gonna play the official, honestly. Yeah, it was, this is honestly fine. We have like two good kill spells in our hand. We got a big boom boom, a little card draw. It's fine. It's fine. They discard an incandescent aria. Three damage to each non token creature, which is interesting because, like, we do have some stuff from Stephen Blair right now, but sure. All right, so definitely super Naya here. No blocks. Most wanted. They're going to make this a 3-3. Three, three. When it dies, make two treasure tokens. We draw a block. All right. Now we're online, at least. Now we can actually do some stuff. Um, we can cast some spells. It's pretty sweet. We can Fatal Grudge here and then still cast Riveteer's Charm, which is pretty good. Uh, no way to stop them from getting treasures, so just gonna jam, and then we're going to uh, fatal grudge. Yeah, just cast the girl with the old grudge ski here. 
They get treasures, it's fine. We sacrifice this, trigger body dropper, put a counter on it, make them sack a thing, we draw a card. I'm impressed so far, Fatal Rudge, I'm impressed. Draw Maestro's Initiate? Oh, just cast that, actually. Just cast that bad boy, let's go. Card's great. Card's great. Pass turn. Pass the turn. Six power in play, a six drop, a six land, and two good kill spells. Feeling pretty good. Civic Gardener, sure. Not too shabby. Uh, Grizzly Sigil. So we're going to just bash here. Um, we can break up the block, or we can just uh, play this, bomb, this bomber. Say this. Say that. Double blocks. Oh, they're going to do it. They're going to sing. Oh, they have, they have the, uh, the treasure. Sure. Sure. This is fine, too. So what's a murder? Let's give him the old murder. Murder. They're going to sack the freaking initiate, too, honestly. They're going to... For the family. Plus two, plus two, and Thunder Turn. Now, I save this a lot in Bronze Mythic. Uh, using pump spells defensively is always very risky, and this is why. That's why defensive pump spells suck, because you're always doing it when your opponent is completely untapped and has all the information for the turn. So they're just going to get blown out here. Um, we're going to uh, murder, we're going to charm, or sigil. We're going to just murder here. Just take our murder, I think. Um, yeah, like... Yeah, just going to murder. And then I want to be able to... Uh, my murder, I actually can't cast Charm, which is annoying. Um, yeah, I mean, we have to. That's the only thing, only option. So, sure, murder. Murder. Fizzle that. Straight two for one. Deal the damage. Say go. Can't play any more spells here, but whatever. They have a bear in play. I've got six power in play. This is great. This is great. Sticky fingers. The Sticky Bandits. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of Home Alone stuff on the soundboard for sure. And Stimulus Package. Four mana for an enchantment. ETB make two, tre two treasures. Sack a treasure, make a green and white citizen token. Sure. It's pretty good. We're just going to kill this too though, so. Uh, make a treasure. And they have three 1-1s one potentially. Which is not too bad. And they're going to blow it all make a warm welcome? Sure. I feel like that was not a good play. Um, they effectively sacrificed two 1-1s one to cast their spell a little bit earlier, which seems unnecessary. Seems unnecessary. But we're playing in bronze. The whole point is, the point of playing in bronze, you know, part, part in bronze, in the, the bronze part of bronze, I, mean, I think, is not to, like, make fun of our opponents, but it is to recognize the mistakes they're making, because if you're making those mistakes also, we can call them out, and then you can be aware of it in your own drafts, too. Not everyone is a professional magic player, you know, so everyone here is here to learn and, uh, and do our thing. So... We are going to, they have potentially two 1-1s one -ones here, which is fine. Definitely want to kill the Gardener for sure. So we're just going to kill this now. We're going to use our Sigil, sack this, kill this, act for four, and then play our Boom Boom. So cast this, target here, and sack this. It gives them a Citizen, but they would have gotten that anyway. So it's not like they like... Like, oh, they got one citizen back. Well, nope, no, they, they still sacrificed the citizens and then got what they would have gotten anyway, you know? So, so boom, boom, deal four. This card's really good. Sigil's awesome. Card's great. All right, so, they die, they draw a card, whatever. We get number four. We play a fatty. Also, it's an instant, too. That's also very true. There's no reason to just do it, like, in your main phase. Jump block, sure. And now we're going, now we're going big. Now we're going big. So have Mikey. Yes, the point of Bronze Mythic is not to smurf our account. The point is to be a learning process from Bronze Mythic. You know, my first draft, maybe it's your first draft, maybe you're a little less experienced at draft or whatever it is. The whole point is to learn all the way through. Essential to kill both creatures. Uh, it deals one and it, has the other, and it, deals, uh, it deals three to thing that's already been dealt damage. So, Riveteers, 5-3, make a 1-1. One, one. Sure. Uh, I think we're just going to pass it, just pop up Charm here. We're just going to charm, kill the large creature, attack, just do everything here. So we're going to make him sacrifice creature, plants walk with the highest mana value, target you. And we're going to just jam with the chonkers. 
And they're at four. Play this. Make a token. Say go. Read Sigil again. Civic Gardener. Sure. So a little bear action. I think we're good to go here. Right? I think we're good to go. Blah, 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 blah. We can menace this too. Yeah, sure. So there we go. Back on track. Back on track with a victory here. Three and two. That's an awesome name. Their name is just freaking Doom. Tell us about the time you faced Doom. Well, he just disappeared. Uh, we're gonna keep this. We have a. We have no black. We have no. We have no uh, black. But we have patrol magician. This is fine. Let's keep this. It's a Shivas Regal and Coke. We'll drink for you all. Cheers, everyone. Cheers to all my uh, my folks out there drafting it. New Capenna. Gotta get that. Uh, that you know. 20s gangster theme on him. Have my sip, sip my uh, sip my scotch. Play a little drafto. Having a good time. How would I have killed? Do you think Super Sigil? Doom. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so Riveteer's Charm. Sure. Uh, not really reason to blitz here. Again, I wouldn't I wouldn't pay like two mana cantrip shock. We're just gonna play the patrol here, just cast it. It's got menace, it's a menace bear, which is good. Her name's good, honestly. It's really good. Think over see Cranko Mob. I, I, that's that's a lot that's a lot of bullshit. Hold on a second. We gotta talk, folks. It's a gangster set. There are zero goblins in the set. Zero. Cranko Mob Boss. And Cranko Tin Street Kingpin. Right? Come on. This is bullshit. It's ridiculous. Play land. Play magician. Die for two. So mad. So mad. Would you play a Cantrip Shock? I mean, I guess, sure. There are decks that would play it in theory. I, it, it would be fine. But it's not better than, like, uh, just a Menace 2 2 bear on turn two on the play. So. Why not play Buy Dropper first? Because I, I have no black. I have no black. I'd love to, love to play this first, honestly. Would love to. They're going to play a, a Midnight Assassin. 1 2 Flying Death Touch. Honestly, not very good here. I have a bad creature and a Mascrate Menace creature. So we're going to play uh, play our Greeters here and just say go. We, no, we only have one black source at present. So I'm going to jam. Plus here. This card is good. This card is good. It's got Menace. All right. Sure. Totally fine trade. Play the Greeters, stick up. Play Cranko is on Ravnica. So you'd have to be a Planeswalker to be a new Capenna. That's a good idea. Maybe you should be a Planeswalker, huh? All right, if Obscure Omniscient, two mana, this is a Windrake with, with lifelink potentially. Uh, again, we still have no, uh, only one black source. Uh... It's an interesting spot. Episode one, Bronson Mythic, welcome. Oh, I can't draw black, honestly. Just got no black man in our deck, apparently. Um, like we have, like, what we have? Six, seven, eight, nine with the fixer sources, you know? Um. We can't just buy a creature and make treasure. It is true, but it's true. So we'll probably just like tag with this, bump it. Play body dropper, just re get the treasure. And then make a treasure. Play a land. Playing a land here is like a little sketchy because they could have discard in their deck. Uh could like the Ravenous Rat or whatever. But I think you want to have enough mana if we cast a charm to draw to cast all of our stuff, so. All right, we should go for lifelink, sure. We draw a corrupt court official. I guess we get to keep making Gallic readers tokens, right? It doesn't mean that bad, so. And they miss land drop too, so sure. Play this thing. We're gonna cast this bad boy. Make treasure. Gallic readers is the nut. This card's great. This card's great. I love the, the freaking confetti too. Love it. Love it. Waka, waka. Happy birthday. Everyone's in. Bump this. They're at 11. 
Sure. We're feeling super desperate. We could look over to your charm for uh, cards too. So, all right, sure. So they got, they just got, just got, man, screwed. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, I guess? And, uh, all right, all right. Let's keep going. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, and uh, we found our block. Sure, keep. Keep, keep, keep. Keep, keep, keep. Fight says, first time chatter. Oh, I'm sorry. I was to play limited. Yep, this effect is generally good. Makes it good in SNC. I missed what you said. Play swaps, there you go. Double body drop. All right, and uh, body dropper. No third land, but sure. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Definitely might be an 18 land format with like the sack duels and the fetch lands and the strangles. Oh, ah, crap. All right, sure. Draw some lands. Draw some lands. Speaking of sack duels, right there. The line for drafts to mythic is 21.5. Let me know if you're over or under in chat and on YouTube. They're going to mill... No land, land, obviously. We drew land, though, so sure. Land, Maestros Initiate. Say go. Say go. Play land. Vampire Scrivener. So this card, whenever you gain life or lose life during your turn, put a counter on it. We have a murder. Murder. Attack. So... Obviously, we're a little light on uh, on lands here. We have like multiple kill spells, and they're down on cards. But we're not gonna murder this. Just a freaking two flyer for now. Uh, we're four and two right now. Four and two. Maestros initiate. Unfortunately, better for them and for us because obviously they have a bunch of lands that we don't. But we're gonna say go. Yeah. I think we gotta murder the scrivener. Uh, just as far as like being man efficient goes. Um. Yeah, them having initiate really sucks. I'm not gonna lie, it definitely really sucks. But we need time. Yeah, it doesn't feel good, but whatever. What's up, Captain? Where can you see past records on my YouTube? Just go check out the videos. Uh, we did like 17 in Caldime. Took 17 drafts, made Mythic in Caldime. Took 18 drafts in uh, in uh, Ikoria, I think. 17 lands. Yep. Uh, we're not going to kill this because they just they want it to die. I might just say go here. Uh, and as far as we could like blitz the patrol, we could sigil, but like I don't think sigil yet. Um, I'm just going to say go. I don't particularly want to trade here because it, it's much better for them than for us because they can have they have the mana to spend. So my golden knight shirt, yeah, poor golden knights, they got wrecked. They got wrecked. Blitz Patrol for a land. Just not really... We're not really in any huge rush. And I want to keep the Patrol for activating Sigil. So another non-land. Now attacking is a little more appealing. Um, yeah, we'll attack for three. And then... Uh, Just gonna say go. I just want to keep Mayhem Devil, Mayhem Patrol with, with Sigil available for next turn. We're holding it to Blitz, holding it to two uh, to casualty it. We're not really under that much pressure yet. We don't want to kill this. They'll just draw cards off it. Obviously, they're they're definitely flooded. So we're not really in a huge rush, and we have huge combat potential here. If, if, if they cast the next one, and they might just sack it anyway. Honestly, so you know, right now we are sure draw land. So now Deal Gone Bad is on the table as well. Um, Two deal gone bads. Get a jam. Night Lion, reset. Thanks so much. Just gonna say go. Patience. Patience, folks. Patience. Take three. They've not cashed in their duel yet either, which is a little weird too, but. Corrupt Court Official. That sucks. All right, so we're going to discard, um, I think, Libation. I know Cleanup Crew is really hard to cast, but, like, we can get there, and it's a huge comeback card, whereas Libation is just kind of awkward. Let's just discard this. And now I have the ability to patrol and double sigil, so we're probably going to do that this turn. Yeah. 
dig up the body. That wasn't bad either, actually. We got body dropper, double body droppers too. Interesting, very interesting. Obviously, we'd like to man patrol and sack this too. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty intricate set, honestly. Pretty intricate set. A lot of stuff going on here. A lot of stuff going on. Because now I kind of want to wait and just uh, use the patrol for taking the body. Get back our body droppers. Um, or nine. They have three cards in end. We kill this this turn. They have to immediately use it also, which sucks. Uh, just great, great value for them. I'm going to think for a second here. Think this one through. Uh, this card does not go face. It'd be really, really good if it did. Uh, it would be broken if it did, honestly. Um, I think the body is an instant. Sigil. Is it crazy that I want to sigil the official and just act for three and leave up to get the body? Or cast. Uh, that's not how it blitz this, I think. Just gonna say go. Just gonna say go. Like, there are eight body droppers, sure. Uh, we have patrol, blitz. Dig up next turn if we want it. Um, take three. Also, that one life. Now this is a four-turn clock and a three-turn clock, which is pretty awesome also. And we're not going to dig. We're going to untap. That's awesome. Great draw. We're going to kill this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We only have two far, so let's play this first. Gain another life, too. So, three cards in hand. I think it's like, likely they have removal in hand, which uh, is obviously why they haven't want to kill this yet. Uh, now, the question is, do I want to attack them and see if they'll trade? No, I'm trying to kill this. I'm trying to keep applying pressure. I'm going to mill myself. I have a dig of the body. We hit... Ooh, we had a, a Knight Clubber, which is nice with our, uh, our Dig of the Body. They're on to five. Very interesting game, folks. You can write a book about this game, I feel like. Very, very interesting game. All right, and they finally had to kill my creature they don't want to kill, which is awesome. Five to eight. And there's our green source for our, uh, our cleanup crew. Sweet. Now, you don't want to get cheesed out here. Um, and now we know we're playing Cleanup Crew next turn, which is also pretty awesome. We kind of wanted to patrol, attack, dig up the body. We risk dying to like a Haster or a Blitzer, because Blitz definitely changes the math on stuff too. I think I like Greeter Patrol here. Um, playing this for sure. Uh... We're just going to Greeter, Patrol, cast it. I think we're going to gain two also. I think. Try and make him use a kill spell on this, then play our, our cleanup crew. And we have Dig of the Body also. Play this. Play this. And I think we're going to just gain two. Sizing wise, going to kill it? Sure, that's great. That's great also. Again, we, we put them for. Uh, we put them for multiple kill spells here. Let's see game This game goes four more turns. I'm pretty sure we win. Uh, we have a cleanup crew and then a way to get it back. So that feels awesome. And there are five. So this has been an extremely interesting game. Uh, this game has been an absolute lesson in patience. Um, we could easily like run things out, kill this early, let, let him draw cards. But we were very, very patient. We recognized they weren't adding any more pressure to the board. We recognize that we both had creatures in play that neither player really wants to kill, um, which is a kind of an interesting dynamic to the game because you don't necessarily want to kill your opponent's creature and give them value. So you find a different way around it. If we had killed that, you know, on turn four, 
or whatever. We'd be at probably 15 life right now, but they had two extra cards in their hand and might have played some bigger threat and just killed us. So, just take the damage, just chill. We know what we're building towards. Corpse Explosion. Three mana for a sorcery. Additional cost to cast a spell, Exile Army Graveyard. Does damage each each evil evil Okay, sure. A little Diablo 2 Necromancer here. We draw land. We're gonna hold this land in hand, because I don't wanna I don't wanna get it discarded to a discard spell. We're gonna cast this bad boy and just freaking gain some life. Look at the size of that trunk. You can put three bodies in it. There we go, let's go. And they've drawn cards off their cabaretti, uh, or I'm sorry, Mattress Initiate. What's up, Hall? Kill this, sure. Now we got, now we got our, our dig of the body. We're good to go. The Witty Roast Master and the Body Dropper. Take one. Okay. Riveteer's Charm. Good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, we're going to... This is a little tough because, like, we need to play the extra land. I want to kill two things here. Um, we need to play this land. So the discard spell kind of sucks, but it's fine. Um, play this land. And we're going to deal gone bad this and set up for charm. Uh, they've got one card left. Kill this now to play around pump spell or some random garbage you can't think of. Uh, kill this. We're going to mill ourselves. Mill over uh, Captain Oreo or whatever. And just say go. We can always cast Dig without casually. Just get back our, our six drop also. Uh, Diablo 2 stream? Probably not, no. Uh, take two. Five, five. Say go. Interesting. Decking is a, a mild concern. A mild concern. It means we actually, actually like not want to... Uh... Yeah, we're just going to cast this. We're not going to mill ten cards here or four cards. So Mill this. We're currently four and two, I believe. We're gonna get back our cleanup crew, I think. Yeah, this cleanup crew. They probably have like another murder in their hand, but we could get the gilded the girder goons, honestly. Uh, we're at five. We have Riveteer's Charm. That's the top three cards. We have eight cards left. Interesting, interesting game here. Interesting game for sure. They have, uh, we still have Maestro's in the graveyard, too. Um, I think we're gooning. I think it's, like, pretty likely they have a, uh, one of their rule spell. I'm gonna get the crew. I'm gonna get the crew. Magician, sure. Cast this, gain four. Make him kill it. See if we get punished or not. All right, well, no murder. That's a good sign. Land number nine, that's a good sign. All a good sign, folks. That was all a pretty good sign for us. We have five. We have six cards left. Um, we're going to... I mean, we could try and kill them with Riveteer's Charm. But I, I don't think I want to, honestly. Because if they have... Like, like, if they don't have a kill spell, they're going to lose anyway. And we have tons of ways to get through them as an attack. I know we have lethal here, but... If we charm to kill their their two drop and they have a kill spell or whatever, like it just kind of sucks. Which is like we just wait, play more stuff. We have an inst initiate as well. We only have six cards left. This is gonna, this is gonna be a kill spell. Now, this this put us to four cards. Uh, how many lands do we have left? We have half our deck is lands. I'm going to I can't do this first. Let's play this. Let's play this. Whatever. Play this. Play this. Make a one one. So you go. I'm going to hold the land because, like, even though half our deck is lands, like, we play land and draw two spells, it would be really, really, really sad here. 
There's no reason to do that yet. Leave charm up, say go. Rob the archives. Exile top cards of your library. May play those cards this turn. Alright. They exiled a shakedown heavy. Uh, oh my god, Becky. It's big. It's big. Not not good enough though. Now we're gonna kill this. Get off my plane. They have 13 cards to my six, so. They got some. What's it gonna be? What's up? What's up, Glass? Call on a professional. That's gonna bolt us for three. That's what I'm talking about. Game. That was the game of magic, my friends. Blouses. That was the game of magic. Some games aren't interesting, right? Our other two losses weren't very interesting. Uh, we just kind of lost to rares, and we uh, we uh, got mana screwed. Some of our wins weren't that interesting. Our opponent got mana screwed, whatever. But that was a uh, that was a very very interesting game. Uh, if you're interested in any better at Magic, that's a good game to watch. I think, I think our patience there was uh, very, very well done. Not to toot my own horn or anything, uh, but I think we played pretty well that game. All in all. All in all. Whew. Hammy. Hammy. All right. Ugh. That is uh, not good. It's not good. Uh, all right, we're going to I have two accounts that I go, I go back and forth between for Bronson Mythic. Sounds good. Keep this. Discard this card. This card seems like not great in our deck. Our deck is like very grindy. It's not a very good grindy card. It is like a token on a spell, which fits our themes like sacrifice -y stuff, but... Thanks, Dylan. You great. You all great. All right. Land. Ravenous Rats. Where are my Ravenous Rats boomers out there, huh? Cheer to y'all. Cheers to y'all, my ravenous rats boomers. A good boomer sound soundboard thing. Uh, I don't know. What do you offer me, right? Waka, what do you offer waka. me? What was that? Discarding a revelation of power. Sure. Civil servants, very good. Ah, uh, very very good. All right, so um. This is uh, not going to get us a green. Our mana base could definitely be better, for sure. We have two theaters, or two whatever these lands are, uh, that are both only double color, not triple color, which sucks. But uh, we're going to play Swamp here. We're going to play this thingy. And make a... I mean, I want to make a, a token, but we might want to just make a green. So, look at this. Let's take up. Good card. Yeah, it, it's cool also. A uh, little did you know action. This is actually a reprint. Uh, this was a Portal 3 Kingdoms common. So, kind of fun. Prize fight to kill. Sure. So, again, point of Bronze Mythic is not to make fun of our opponents. Uh, but, didn't really feel like a very good play there, right? So, prize fight, of course, is a decent removal spell. Uh, they killed our 2 1, but they weren't able to attack. Uh, they used this kill spell on their turn. Didn't really get any good value off of that. It, it was fine, but not great. And it's really important in, in, in limited to both A, value your removal highly, and B, try and find a good spot where you can maybe get a two for one. So you have an instant speed removal spell. They play a hump spell, you play your removal spell. They double block, you play your removal spell. So you want to really maximize the value of your, of your kill spells in limited. It's very, very important. Uh, I'm just going to chill here. Play, play theater, get a, get a mountain or swamp, swamp. And sig up. Swamp? Yeah. We have murder. It's awkward, but. Yeah, sure. And just gonna say go murder up. We can end step charm. We want to try and draw some cards, but it is a little risky, so we might want to chill for a bit. This card is very good though. And again, there's one really good two-color allied common for each color pair, and they're all like linchpin commons. Like, absolute linchpin commons. Are the Fetish Mimicet constructed playable? Uh, no. No, these are these are just Evolving Wilds, but a little bit worse. I guess slightly better if you're exactly those colors, but I don't think they're that playable. Maybe like a little bit, but... Wrecking Crew, Human Warrior, Reach, Trample. That is a big boom boom. Uh, but... 
Tap it, untap it. I mean, those. We're gonna kill this. Get off my plane. Take two. And we're going to draw a girder goons. An interesting question here. Do I want to blitz this, or do I want to just cast it? A 4-4 four, four is pretty good in this board, whereas a 2-2 two, two is not very good in this board. Where should I cast it? Just gonna cast it. The value of a 2-2 two, two in this board is not very high. And I'm just gonna cast our 4-4 four, four and take up. Worst case scenario, they like pacify it or it gives some some other way to like negate it in some way, but. I think blitzing, you don't need to blitz. Uh, blitzing is great. I think if you're going to be blitzing, you would like to be getting some other kind of value out of it, for sure. Exile it. Sure. All right, you got me. Now, the good news is I got a treasure off that, which is cool. So, they exiled it, which is fine. Deal gone bad. Uh, yeah, we're going to kill this now. We're trying to wait as long as possible to draw off, off our, our charm. So, you can try and guarantee we draw the cards off of it. Um... I would like to kill this card, though. And I would like to not get hit by a pump spell. I'm just going to play this now. I'm just going to play this now. This card is good enough where I'm like pretty happy to kill it. We can mill ourselves, too. And mill over nothing useful. And just say go. Just say go. Yeah, so you have no green sources. You only have a few green cards. We have two treasures, obviously. So... We're probably going to fire up an end step charm, uh, barring nothing else this turn. Gold Hound. I don't think this card's very good. Uh, unless you're, like, really aggressive. Really aggressive. We're not going to charm and, and bop two treasures, so... Again, you want to make sure you can get max value off of this, and we're under no pressure right now, so... Play land, just take go. Now our goal is to end step charm and draw three. Hand me the hammy, man. What's up, gold hound? Nah, I'm saying she a gold digger. Uh. Alright, so, uh. Coming in. Taking one. For a one drop, it, it's exactly fine. Uh, it is not okay. It is not okay. Why would I wouldn't hold the land and play charm on my turn? Because we want to make it charm end step. Because we want to have all of our mana available for, for charm. Alright, so exile top three. And we're going to pop that. Now we have a bunch of mana available. We hit Night Clubber, Land, Land. So not like the best ever, but still pretty good. We kill the Gold Hound. We play Land. We have, now we have Luxurious Libation. Uh, so we get to... It's, until, it's not until your next end step, until your current end step. You play this card on your turn, you have that turn to play the cards, or they go away. There are a lot of variations on the, on the Light Up Stage effect. Uh, this is a, a difficult one. So play this. It's gonna hard cast this. Die for one. Play this. Hard cast this. Again, not gonna blitz it because like we're not getting any value up blitzing it. I'd rather have it. If you gave me a choice between a random card and a 2 2 in play right now, I would take a 2 2 in play. Like, because we have no board right now and they have no board. And I pump spell in my hand. So I really want the creature. So no reason to blitz there for no reason. So lose our mountain, no big deal. And now we have a, a pretty good density of spells in our deck. They, they just think of Speak Easy Server, uh, which, which we're getting one life. I'm sorry, zero life. And now we're in good shape. Untap and draw another land, but sure. We just space jam here. I would trade this for this. And uh, I'm going to pump for a lot because like they could have a... Pump spell, whatever, some going for gear. Start at this. Yada, yada, yada. Kill that. Make a token. Say go. Not really like. They play a 3 3 here. We can't get through anymore, but yeah, we are really drawing a lens. All right, second everything. Here they come. Send in the clowns. Knockout blow. Four damage. Retreat gain two life. Sure. So that's totally fine. And that was a almost a not premium kill spell, but a pretty good kill spell on our 2 2, which already killed something, which is great. So, got some on ones. Brokers initiate. So, this can be a 5 5. That's annoying, honestly. Hey, it's Mr. Oreo. Gentlemen, behold. Mr. Oreo. Let's say play Mr. Oreo. What's up, Ben? 
Only spells left? No, but we have a lot of spells left. Here's the thing, yo. Uh, this thing is a, if they have five mana to pump it, it's a 5-5. Five, five. Oh, oh, that's an 0-4. So, very, very mana intensive, but good later in the game. Nice suit, though. Nice suit there. Looking good. Looking good. Yeah, obviously, we had the pump still back. It'd be kind of cool, but what are you going to do? Playland, two cards left. Attack with it. No blocks. Bring it. Take five. Whatever. Sure. What do you got for me? Okay. Interesting. 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 Um, we could like try and lay a trap where like we attack. They attack with this. We block. They pump. We kill it. I'm gonna. It's just, like so obvious though. Um, we're gonna get in for six here. We're just winning the race. Some sort of jam. So this is a spot where like if I were to try and lead back Mr. Oreo. And in theory, nothing else, you know, uh, happening. Two, four blocks to 04. They make it a 5 5. I make it a 3 3, and it dies. But why did I not attack with this? It's four damage, you know? So, like, it's like super, super tele telegraphed. So they can say, well, they have a trick. I'll just chill if I don't have a trick. And if they do have a trick, they attack, and I get, I get blown out. So just chill. All right, now they're going to chill. Sure. Let me draw a warm welcome. Which is a welcome site indeed. Um, we're going to start by just casting Warm Welcome. Let's see what's up. Give me an idea what's going on here. We, we have Hasters with the Blitzers. So, cleanup crew is the bomb. Oh my god. All right, now we're going to just, uh, just cast this. Honestly. I should have cast this. I'm not going to do anything else. We obviously could attack with this and try and get a block and kill it in response, but it's going to play cleanup crew. It's important to note also. That similar to creature lands and constructed, uh, a card like this that requires you to pump mana into it is really, really awkward uh, because you have to leave mana up for it. If you don't have mana up for it, it doesn't do anything. So right now they have their mana up. Next turn, they might want to cast a five drop and they won't have mana up anymore. So there's no reason to like play into it when they have the mana up. You can just chill. You can just chill a lot of the time. So clean up crew, doing business, doing business. Look at the size of that trunk. You could put three bodies in there. What's up, Hammy? What's up, Hammy? Ravenous Linworm. Yep. Honey Mammoth, Ravenous Linworm. All of our old favorites is back with an upgrade. Uh, strictly better. It's a citizen. Disenchants. Graveyard. Oh, 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 please don't do that. I don't like, I don't, I don't like when you do that. All right, they have involuntarily employed my cleanup crew. Um, I we just take six, right? Like, I guess, sure. Plasma jockey. That didn't seem very good. Uh, sure. Well, now they're dead, so sure, whatever. Uh, kill this. I don't know, folks. Oh, wait, wait, this thing out the mill, too. It's so sick. Uh, play this. Sack a citizen. Yes, citizen. Definitely think you should not be playing the threaten unless you're playing sacrifice effects. However, in a deck like ours, this card could be really, really good. Because we can steal their thing and then sack it to a card like Fatal Grudge. So I think we actually underval undervalued that card in our draft. Uh, so attack with everything. Pump that thing up. Oh, my God. And uh, we'll call it. After it was all over. And they got six wins. In the house to serve pancake. They got six wins, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Final boss playing for the last match of a draft, Dog Puppy, for seven wins. Again, I screwed up the uh, prediction. I apologize for that. It's supposed to be seven wins, not winning record, but whatever. Freaking deal with it, all right? Hands good. We got fixer. We got two drop, three drop. Keep this. Like it, like it, like it. Like it, like it, like it. Island go. Swamp go. Rigged from the start. Game point. Simic Civic Gardener. Sure. Uh, yeah, I'm just buy drop here. We could like bandits the land and try and set up for Gallic Readers dropper on turn three on turn four. But I'm just gonna play our freaking two drop. It's quite good. Quite good. I do have a TikTok, yes. 
TikTok and Instagram are new. I encourage you to follow me on them because I don't know what the hell I'm doing on them. I love your feedback. There's, there's your Instagram. And there's your TikTok. Go follow me. Follow me. I'm making content. Full-time content. That's me. Uh, no blocks. Watch on YouTube at the subscribe button. We're doing all sorts of crap right now. We're follow, follow me and everything, folks. Most wanted. Um, this card does not seem very good. Uh, it does not seem very good. Just asking yourself to get hit by a removal spell. We don't have a removal spell right now, but we're going to play... We're going to play the... Uh, it's interesting because like, we can't all play this after playing this. Um... We could, like, blitz the patrol, attack, pump the dropper. If they want to trade, cool. Um, that's fine, because now it's two for one, and then the patrol draws a card. If they don't trade, they take four and this, or three, they block this, and this grows. I'm sorry, but it won't grow, actually, because it, it won't get sacrificed. Um, it's an interesting spot. It's an interesting spot. Or again, we could also just go like Bandits this turn, and then Greeters plus Patrol next turn, and then Magician next turn, and then Welcome next turn. Although we do need to deal with this, honestly. We can't really beat it at the moment in combat. Um, yeah, we're just going to go. We're just going to Bandits. We're just going to Bandits. Um, we have plenty of mobile in our deck. Plenty of Chump Blockers, too, so we're not really worried about it. Broker's Charm. Uh, to do plus two... Plus so, plus so, and deal damage here. So, a risky play. If I have a kill spell here, like, this is an absolute blowout. But I don't, so you got me. Plus so, plus so, kill that. Attack for five. We're going to bandits onto our uh, our swamp. Hit for five. Again, very, very common to see this at the low levels. Players are very, very trigger happy with their removal spells. So, if you're doing that in your games, please don't. Uh, try and find a better spot. Try and find a better spot if you can. All right, so um, we play land here. I believe it's just going to be land, Gallagher's man patrol. And I think we're going to put a counter on the greeters. Gaining two doesn't feel particularly great. Uh, this card's so good. Gas is bad boy. We're not going to blitz it because we, no, we have no value here. We want to build, build more anyway, so. And then we're going to put a counter on this. We don't need to gain two life here, so. Keep this thing growing. Next turn, Magician can add two counters. Or two tr two triggers, I mean. Endless Detour. They are just a Broker's theme deck. Uh, we'll put this on... Now I have no green. I'm sorry, yeah, I do. All right, sorry. Uh, but if we draw this, we can't draw a land. That's really awkward. That's really awkward. Um, so we draw this next turn. We're not playing it. And then, like, maybe we're going to Goons get in for six, make a 2-2 two -two draw card. We are, like, now under the gun here from the Gardener. We do want to draw a kill spell pretty bad. Yeah, maybe Treasure is better. I don't know. We know what's going to happen, obviously. I'm going to bottom it. I wish I could just say top or bottom here. Um, I'm going to bottom it. Let's just draw a kill spell. We have multiple kill spells in our deck that can kill this, so... No blocks. Sucks, but... Uh, Mr. Oreo. Um, this is a, this is really, really embarrassing. We just can't find a way to deal with this stupid card. <laughs> like, this card's not good. But we're going to Oreo and attack here. Try and draw a land next turn for goons. I could play Magician, just make a treasure and do it that way. But... I'd rather not, honestly. Attack, whatever it's X. It's beast four. Yeah. Attack with this. Hopefully it stacks it right. Shit, it didn't stack it right. Oh yeah, it did. Okay, good. Alright, so pump, pump, black. Take four. Shoot. Well, they drew the fourth land. I was kinda hoping they wouldn't do that this turn. So we had like one more turn of a preview to try and do our stuff. They're going to play a high-rise sawjack. 2-3 reach blockers. It doesn't really matter that much. Untap this. No blocks. We have to have a draw land. Yes. 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 Play Girder Goons and no attacks. Right? 
Because we're at three, we can't afford any more uh, mishaps here, so. Play the goons as they go. Um, not thrilled. Any bounce or exile and removal is pretty devastating here, but. Voice of the Vermin. Shield counter, never it attacks. Creature has base power and is 4 4. Not bad. Not bad. We draw a tap land. We can treasure and warm welcome. This is also not the green thing, which is kind of annoying. Get a red. We can't play this next turn also, which is kind of nice. Um, and a wall one can block this and shield. Warm welcome to drop. We have a black. I, I don't like that the uh, the old duels don't show the colors here. I, I, might, I, might, play new, I might play new border duels for this because you can't tell this is a uh, multicolor land. Um, if we play Magician, we can also play this. Um, I think we're going to do that. Make a treasure. I don't love it, but I'm just going to say go. Now we can like Play this for token, block this to break the shield. Is there another land too? Oh my! Choo choo choo! I'm fly. I'm pilot. Of course there are no treasures around, but Alright, so end step cast this. Okay. Good news, bad news. Uh this card's insane. Only have one green right now, and we see two of our green sources going to the bottom. So, almost missed two, but... So... Oh my god. We, um... <laughs> we could actually just, like, main phase, pump this, pump it, and have a one that's uh, six, seven, fourteen. It's not lethal, though. If it was lethal, I think that, um... Just cranking this in and attacking and forcing a double block would be pretty cool. But as it stands, don't think you want to do that. Um, I do think that firing in the goons might be fine. Uh, you can double its power. If it's lethal, yes. For not lethal, it's not good enough. They just, they just, they just, they're not going to block it. They're just going to take, take much damage. And, yeah. They won't, but... Um, I'm going to fire the goons in. Menace here is the important part. This is, this is actually as menace. So, attack with the goons. Double the power. And now if they try and block with something good, we just fire up the libation, which is cool. They could crew and block with this thing, honestly, which would also be fine, too. Sure. This is fine. They do this. I could also just trade here, also. It's not a bad trade, either. So, is it is 16? We got 1 plus 5 is 6 plus... One is seven. Seven and seven is fourteen. So, uh, is this trade okay? I think this is fine. Sure. Pass priority. How far do the Rangers go in the playoffs? I have a hundred dollar bet on the New York Rangers to win the Stanley Cup. It comes in tapped? I did not know that. Uh, to win the Stanley Cup at twenty to one odds. So I'm hoping for, uh, or a Rangers win. How is it six? It's plus X plus X, folks. Come on. Um, so we know we have two green sources on the bottom. We could just play this and then go for it next turn with the, the whole the play, the play I just said. Force two blocks. We lose cleanup crew, but we never cast. I'm going to cast this. We, we, never, we never cast it anyway. So there you go. We bet on the Islanders that day too. Actually, we we bet a parlay. Me and Nicole were in uh, we were in AC for uh, for a little vacation, and we bet a parlay of the Red Wings to beat the Lightning and the Islanders to beat the Panthers. Twenty dollar bet to win two seventy five. The Red Wings won. The Islanders had a lead with one minute left in the game and got scored on and they lost in overtime. Sick, it was sick. All right, so now we can fire up the uh, like uh, I'm not green anymore. I'm so stupid. That was that was not smart, I guess, but sure. Uh, 
We still just jam for 10, though, which is great, so this is fine. Jam here. Um, yeah. Sure. Ship it. Oh, my God. Sure. Uh, Sigo. you go. Yeah. It sucks that our green source is at the bottom, too. This card's good. Just, like, big. Just big, you know? Like... Vigilance Menace is like a... I don't think I've ever seen a Vigilance Menace creature before. Honestly. Has there been one before? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Alright. Uh, I mean, we're should do it again, right? I mean, now can I like go somewhere else with it? Probably not. If I go... Those could, they, they could have Kill Shot here too. Uh, which I definitely don't like. This would be a pot hack for four. This is still... I'm going to attack with this thing. Yeah, this is like five mana up, three cards, and it's pretty sketchy. So, we'll just double the power of the uh, the Mayhem Patrol with... with uh, actually, no. Um, this is like a surefire kill shot. I'm just going to send in one of these creatures at four power and see what they do. Uh, and Patrol, the menace doesn't matter, so block two things anyways. Just block attack with this. Some fishy's going on here, and I'm going to find out what it is. They got five cards in hand, three or three cards in hand, five five mana up. Something's up. Something's up. And again, unfortunately, our green sources are on the bottom, but can break a shield. Sure, it's fine. Works for me. And we'll just uh, say go. They play land number six and play a rocks pummeler, which is a good card. There's our green source. Can we live, is the question. Um, now we can fire up the bandits attack and force two blocks. Thing is, now the pummeler just kind of gets us, though, and now we're only at four. That might do it for us, folks. I think that might just be enough to get us. Um, the six power trampler. We can block it with, like, something, but it just sucks. Uh... And our attacks here. We can pump the patrol. It's four menace, but not really good enough. Oh, this loses trample and has a counter on it. Oh, I didn't read it. I didn't read it. Um, so if I attack with the bandits, they have to block with two things. They block with two small things. We have to block on the backside also. Um, we can't cast this right now, unfortunately. So... Um, two, six, five, five. Block with two things. This dies. I have to throw something in front of this and other stuff too. I guess we just have to attack. Don't feel great. I don't feel great. It's four, six. They already did it by attack with everything, right? If I attack with everything, these both have menace. I pump. Oh, they're gonna break the shield. Oh, okay, that's great. Um if I attack with everything and pump this thing, I would have a uh, two menace attackers. I don't think it's enough. Alright, so they just broke the shield, which is phenomenal for us. Um now he also shuffles, now we have a better chance to draw another green. Um, and now you have lethal with this thing, I think. So, now it has no more trample. We can chump it. Oh my god. Uh, alright. I mean... Sure. This doesn't look good for us, but... We're at five... Oh, it's so sketchy. Um, we just need one attacker next turn. They got a pump spell here. Yeah, I don't, know if, I don't know how I play this game. I don't know how I play this game. If we block with everything, I don't know if we can win or not. I think I might just want to block like this. And just like, if they have pump spell, we're just dead. Um, if we block with everything... 
and they play a creature. Now he can't get through anymore, which die next turn. So like, I, I think. Uh, yeah, actually, I should I should switch these. Hold on. That's a good. That's a good. 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 Chat says if they have this shield counter instant, this gets trampled. It's pretty cool. So, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna you can kill me. If you got it, you can kill me. Am I dead? All right, that's fine. We probably couldn't beat that anyway, honestly. So, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with not blocking there. Um, but I think that we... We probably shouldn't have axed our green. Um, like... I don't know. We... Playing this was really good. I don't know. It was a tough game. It was a tough game. I don't... I don't I couldn't really find exactly what I did wrong, I don't think, but I, I am I am definitely I feel like something went wrong in that game. I'm not sure what. But all in all, not bad. A six three in our first draft. Um that game felt winnable. The other two losses did not. Uh, we lost the rares and getting manuscript, which is fine. And uh all right, it was good. All right, it was good. Let's hop on over to uh to untap.gg or take a quick look at our, our deck and see uh see what we're thinking. See what we're thinking. Overall, our deck felt, it felt like a decent first draft, honestly. Um, look over at untapped here, and uh, that's not supposed to be there. Um, and uh, our mana wasn't great. Unfortunately, in our lands, we had like two fetch landy lands that weren't on all three colors. So we had some mana problems. We didn't have a triome. Our mana wasn't terrible, you know. Um, obviously, a little awkward splash two drop. I think that the core of a deck did seem very, very good, though. Like, Body Droppers, uh, Fatal Grudge, Tokens, Dig Up the Body, Initiate, all felt pretty awesome. Uh, the Blitz stuff alongside the Sacrifice stuff felt really good, too. Um, Mr. Oreo is pretty good. Obviously, we're splashing for a green, green card. So, it was, it was like a little rough on the edges. But overall, I'll take that. So, 6-3. and three, uh, First draft, Bronze Semitic. Let's keep, let's keep going. All right? But you two folks, love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you're hyped for Bronze Semitic. Let's see if we can go. Let's go.